A term you often hear bourbon anglers talking about is the dead zone. And what the dead zone is, is an area where your sonar is not seeing what's happening. Let's say that we're on a, a break that's roughly 45 degrees. So that signal coming from the transducer is gonna pick up the shortest return. So the one that's closest to the surface. So let's say this is a 25 to 28 foot break. The depth finder is gonna show that the depth is 25 feet because that's the closest return that it's gonna get from the bottom. But what looks like the bottom on your fish finder is 25 and really you can see down to 28 because that cone angle is covering that. This is the bottom right here or the top of the break and then the actual bottom of what my cone angle can read which in this case is nine feet is probably somewhere down around here and when you see a burbot like ooh, this see this how the the signal is getting really wanky in here it's almost like bubbling there's really weird stuff happening in here when you see those types of returns that's an indication that there's a burbot so notice if I were to set the screen to be the bottom here to look up I would have no idea what's happening below the bottom when I move this up I'm able to see you can you can see that there's still a lot of information that can be gleaned in that dead zone so even though the top of the beam is here, there's still a lot of information that's being returned to the transducer in this zone, and that can put you on point when there's a burbot in the area. So always be aware, if there's nothing on the screen, it looks flat. There's really no activity, but all of a sudden you start to see a little bit of movement, see what it looks like, almost bubbles there. That's a great indication that there's a fish somewhere below you. So the same information is visible on the flasher. This is obviously not as much detail because I'm not zoomed, but look at right here. See this little, this line right here, right on my thumbnail? That's where the bottom of the break actually is. You can see when there's a little bit of flickering there, there's something going on. If there's nothing happening, that's real still, it's stagnant. But when you start to see any type of color or flicker in there, there's actually something happening. So don't be afraid to look. It's further away from the center of the cone, but I always pay attention to what's happening below the bottom when you're burbot fishing. There is information still available. So when you're setting a zoom on your flasher or your helix unit, make sure that you're setting when you're burbot fishing, make sure you're setting to look below the bottom. Don't focus so much on what's above it, but look below because that's where you see most of the burbot. The bottom gets all weird and bubbly and that's a burbot looking at your jig.